Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick review on this Rhythm Traveler drum kit I have. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the drum kit itself in terms of if you put on normal skins. I'm more concerned and what I'm going to really review is the muffled heads that come with it. Um, the whole purpose of me buying this was to get a drum kit that was silent. So I'm living in an apartment, so there's an apartment there, there's an apartment there, and there's an apartment behind me again. The mesh heads from Pearl, they come with it as well as the normal skins. It's, it, it's, it's a nice way to play, look. You get the different tones from each drum, that's what I like, you know, more than an electric drum kit. There's the same kind of feel that you get off an electric drum kit, but you just have that kind of acoustic sound, which I, I prefer. The snare is quite nice, yeah, the, the size would be 10, 12, 14, and then you have a 13 inch snare. They're all about 5 inches in depth. There's no bottom skin on it whatsoever. Um, very natural feel now, to the bottom. The, the only letdown is really the, uh, the kick. It, there's something a bit strange about it, and I don't know whether it's the, the muffled head that came with it, the, um, the, uh, the mesh head that came with this particular one, or maybe it's the actual kick itself, because you do get a kick and the hi-hat. You, your hardware also consists of one cymbal sound. You get uh, practice hi-hat cymbals, and you get to practice um, just uh, one of these pads, which is the, uh, it's, you could maybe use it as a ride or a uh, crash. Okay, so here is it, it is up uh, close. The mesh heads now, I've had this for maybe three, four months. Mesh heads on top, fantastic. No, you know, it looks like a good quality. I wouldn't imagine it would be the best uh, that you could get, but hey, I've been I've been hitting this and teaching on this, and no problems here. Big problem down here though. Okay, now I switched on the light. So you see this area here? That's pretty much a hole. So as you can see, as the beater came in, this is disintegrated, and that's not really good enough in terms that the amount that I used it, um, that shouldn't have happened. So your the base room was the base room skin rather is a bit of a letdown. Maybe my own fault that I should have sellotaped something to it. But the symbols you get with it are just your standard pearl ones, nothing to write home about. Um, you know you're not going to be gigging them, but they might be fine for uh, they might be fine for when you're practicing in your house if you don't want to be if you uh, if you can be a bit louder than than use the pads. The skins you get with it for normal are just your standard uh, pro tones from. That's too loud, you can take the skin off, the, uh, the snare wires off, and just use it like that. And going back to the hi-hats, they can, that's the one thing that really I found very um, unmusical and just very, uh, there's no feel like that. It doesn't feel like a, a hi-hat. You just have something pop. This doesn't matter what you do with it. Also, it will, you know, eventually turn this way. So then you'll start hitting the plastic. And that can be quite loud. Quite loud. So I mean, unless you're just playing exactly like that, you'll. Um, it's it just it can be quite annoying playing quiet. I don't, I had enough of these and I was lucky enough to get the um, Zildjian L80s on the hats, a uh, 14 inch I think up here, and then a 20 inch, or sorry, a 14 inch up here and then an 18 inch, which I'm going to do a separate video on, but uh, I mean these just make it feel like a real kit, because the only real letdown is the cymbals. Now for us, but it's great for when you're teaching, you can talk over it, and you're not deafened by the student, it's not annoying any of my neighbours, and I can still get my practice in. So the, the, the kick, the, the kick itself is just the, a big beginner standard kind of, it's, it's not heavy duty by any, any stretch. If you're a beginner, it's fine. It's going to come with the kit anyway, um, and it will do the job that you need it to do. The hi-hat stand itself, the hi-hat stand itself is, uh, it's quite good. Um, 
you know, it's again, it's not heavy duty by any stretch, but look, it's going to do the job and it ticks all the boxes that you need, especially if you're a beginner, you don't really want any more. So definitely if you're looking to pick up a silent drum kit, if you're in an area where you can't play your drums and you need to practice, all in all, if it's going to cost you about 400, 450 euros, whatever that amount is in dollars, 500 dollars, 450 dollars, uh, you wouldn't get a month of practice room in that. You can set this up if you're in an apartment. Like I said, I am surrounded by people. There's an apartment there, there, and up there. And um, I haven't got one complaint. So I would definitely go and uh, at least check this out. In terms of the drum kit itself, I would keep away from it. It's uh, I played it once and I would never play it again uh, live. It was uh, ridiculously high toms. But what do you expect when you have a 10, a 12, and a 14? That's only uh, five inches deep with no bottom bottom head. It's not going to be a very pleasant sound. Um, uh, the bass drum was was just okay. The snare drum was just okay. I wouldn't bring it out gigging. Um, I don't care how much space I'm going to save. It's just too small, and it sounds like a Fisher Price kit. Definitely, I would go with this drum kit if you want to. If you're picking up a silent drum kit, um, takes all the boxes for me. And I haven't had a complaint since. So check it out. The next video I'm going to do is I'm going to probably do a review on the. Uh, our Lady Symbols, and um, then I'm going to do a review of the whole silent drum kit that I have. Guys, take it easy. Have a good one. Bye bye.